Hello everybody and welcome to Minecraft and as you can see I'm on a, I'm actually on a server and this is the 2B2T Museum server and it's sort of as a repository of old builds from the Minecraft server 2B2T and this one I'm just sort of checking out now is the Valley of Wheat and as you can, as you can see it's just a massive wheat farm with you know trees and hills and this was actually relatively close to spawn I mean it looks nothing like this today I don't think unless someone started rebuilding it again but it's like sort of pyramids and well mostly wheat and yeah the whole area is basically wheat fields actually I do have fly enabled so I might as well do a flyover and you can sort of see how it looks and I mean if this was daylight I would actually have my shaders on but it's night time and I didn't really want to wait till dawn although I might do a second I don't know maybe a fly through with an elytra or something and this was originally created um, I don't remember how to pronounce his name it's Jing or something I've probably mangled it but um, mostly by him but with some assistance from a few friends and it's sort of a area that was to help out new players on the server I mean you know when you're trying to escape spawn the hardest thing on 2b2t is escaping spawn the first time when you have no supplies but, and it's sort of like a frantic rush to find some food before you starve yeah so that's what this was originally created for in about 2011 but as I said it's gotten pretty trashed since then especially as the creator disappeared some years ago I think I think because basically people keep wrecking the place but as you can see it's got a sort of a pyramids and sphinxes and sort of Egyptian motifs sort of thing and this space is actually quite large I mean hang on I'll just bring the map up the whole area is actually that's all one giant wheat field although there's one area with potatoes and yeah Unfortunately I can't really go into massive detail because I literally do not know much about the server's history beyond what I've heard from you know other people who have made in YouTube videos. I guess I just don't know the right people. <laughs> but anyway at least uh, with the museum here is that it preserves these bases in their glory days rather than what they're like now as bases sort of come and go. They either get abandoned and then tend to get trashed or you know someone shows up and trashes them because of reasons or sometimes no reason at all it is 2b2t after all I mean the <laughs> value of potatoes and yeah as you can see sort of people saying yeah sort of uh, Leroy was here sort of thing but yeah this sort of the, and as I was saying, it's like it's what would have been a map room, although the maps are gone now. I mean, I saw a few of them at the spawn for the server, but um, I think considering again, considering what the server's like, a lot of them aren't the sort of thing you'd put on YouTube. They would be a little, you know, controversial in this day and age. I mean, pixel art of Hitler and so on but also like ponies and everything else so you see it's a weird lot on the server which is kind of why it's so fun and also I should mention that above, in addition to all the stuff above ground there's also underground tunnels I'm actually just waiting for dawn really at the moment and you can just sort of come down here and then you can end up in these massive what would you call it? Tunnel areas. And these run right under the base. And you can sort of see a lot of time. If this is a survival server, so there's there's no um not sort of fancy things to use to speed things up, but this is just all hard work and a lot of digging. And most of this was made by one guy. Or at least that's from what I've taken from what everyone else has said about this one. Although yeah, I can see like this bit was made by Kane's Law. 
and sort of Minecraft automation to just keep feeding the process. And also the perimeter is still, still being built. I'm just going to use the fly to get there faster. And I'm just making these as quick videos just to be something a little different. The thing is, um, can't really make much of my own stuff at the moment because um, server I usually play on is down again. And that happens. It usually comes up again in like a couple of days. And you can sort of see this seems to be where the construction ended. I can't remember. I think what happened is someone trashed the place pretty good. And I think the creator was like, well, all right then, and sort of just quit. That said, for all of all the mayhem that goes on on the server, is there's some pretty spectacular stuff. And uh, I've actually just been looking through the bases and all that, and also just going to areas like around spawn and um, you know places that even I can remember and see how much they've changed since well, whenever the world download for them was taken for here. See, like little cactus <laughs> and. It's quite uh, spectacular stuff, really. I mean, this is the sort of stuff that I'd um, like to build, but I just don't have the patience, really, to sit down for that amount of time. Oh, I guess I must be sitting on the surface showing up on the map there. Uh, to basically just to sit down and... Oh, I see, so it's the stairs up there. Highway to spawn, take left at X roads. Crossroads. Oh well. And let's see, actually, I'm going to go out and see if it's dawn. Hopefully, it is, because I really want to turn the uh, shaders on, and then it just makes it look even more spectacular. But there, there really isn't all that much to say about it. You see, have more of people who have been here. But, um,. So it's certainly an impressive place, and I'd say he worked on it for a year or two. If I remember rightly, it was worked on over quite a period of time. But um, I think I might leave that one here, at least until dawn comes around, and maybe turn the shaders on because at night the shaders make everything too dark. I mean, it looks like sort of expansion ended here because, like a lot of bases, they ne they never really complete. Um, when you explore them, uh, since they often People, a group of people would build them and then eventually a random stranger would show up and then the base would be quickly abandoned with a lot of stuff left behind and everything. And also this being relatively close to spawn, I mean, in most servers 10,000 out is a long way, but uh, with 2B2T there's like a world border base right out at 30 million, which wasn't really I mean someone got out there in 2013 after backdooring the server but um and then later of course another base was built and they just dug through the nether out to something like 3.7 million but anyway oh it looks like dawn's coming as well so I'm gonna take a break the video here and I'll cut to where I um cut the shaders in and then we'll just take a bit of a flyby in the elytra I mean, that's why I have all these fireworks. This is a fireworks dispenser at the spawn for the 2B2T museum. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, I got the shaders on now, so everything looks spectacular. And I'm going to try and launch this in the correct way, rather than just using the fly to get high enough and see if I manage to pull this off or it's going to split. And as you can see, it's quite spectacular thing. Let's see if I can get through here. And no, I didn't. Yeah, I suck it with the elytra because I don't really have much practice. But as you can see, this place is pretty huge. And this, there would have been a lot of time and effort put into this. And yeah, I actually do enjoy doing this because, well, this is probably the only server out there which hands out free elytras at spawn. 
mostly so you can do stuff like this and just sort of fly around everything but I figured I'm gonna do tours of some of these bases I might want to start at one of the older ones like this maybe Passy's castles or something as well and that's another sort of older base that I think they started around 2012 and then worked through to about 2014 and I think I might leave this here in well maybe another minute or so just sort of flying around I mean this this island out here is all built up as well you've got lots and lots of sugar and grain out on these little islands don't know what the ice is coming from I think that might be a and yeah I think my elytra just broke oh well I have plenty I probably should have checked that before I started but oh well but as you can see it's quite spectacular especially with the shaders and I mean this is the sort of thing I'd like to build but I've just never had the patience to build something like this in survival I mean it's hard enough for me to do stuff like this in um, creative mode and I'll just land here and I guess we'll leave it at that so I'll see you next time in Minecraft and if you enjoyed this video leave me a like and if you want to see more videos like this um, please subscribe to my channel I'll see you next time in Minecraft.